guys what is up and welcome to my channel so in today's video we are doing a vlog initially i wanted to do a weekend vlog but i don't think that's gonna happen i don't think the video will be long enough and y'all have me say tan like make your videos a bit longer and honestly i am struggling if you are new to my channel please subscribe if you've been on this channel and you haven't subscribed please subscribe like this video leave a comment down below let's jump right into the video today is saturday and i'm getting my nails done and then i'm gonna go watch my sister perform she is a ballerina she's been doing ballet for like over 10 years now she's a star international just about to get ready for that so basically i'm getting ready and then i'm gonna go get my nails done then after getting my nails done that's when we're gonna go to the theater i'm gonna watch um world cup with my man tonight it's the world cup final we're obviously supporting south africa hello so yeah let me just get ready like i haven't been doing hectic makeup i am honestly so lazy not even lashes can you imagine like i'm actually shocking myself me how are you guys doing how have y'all been if i'm making it a chit chat i actually don't know what i'm talking to you guys about we can talk about uni let's actually talk about school so well, like I say, second year is very different from first year. I've seen that second year has been needing me to show up more academically. First year, I didn't have to do as much as I'm doing. Like, the same results that I was getting in first year, for me to get that same result, I have to put in more. But, yo, it is out for blood. I don't know, like... And I haven't seen my friends this whole semester. We are seven weeks in i have not seen my friends i've not gone out with my friends i have not bumped into them on campus i feel like that's not just my degree that's being hectic second year i feel like it's really even also look at my scar y'all uh, y'all don't need to know how that happened that's kind of like growing up because it really goes to show that as much as y'all might click and y'all grew up together and all of that everyone is gonna take a different path in life and they might not always align so that's like a major thing that i've learned it's just like important to allow each other to grow into our destinies and then like meet somewhere because obviously we're different individuals and our passions might not exactly Align. So this means that you're gonna have to be more active in creating time to spend with your friends And sometimes you're not gonna be able to do that and that's okay I just I am so so grateful that I have the most loving and understanding friends Because as is it's really hard to transition from like high school to university to not becoming a young adult and stuff like that So you really need people in your corner that don't make it harder than it already is i'm very grateful for that like me and my friends just get each other we can go weeks without talking but i know for a fact that if i were to ever need someone to talk to my friends are right there ready to talk do you know what i mean and that's just one thing i'm so so grateful for it's something that for me personally like i had really bad luck with friendships growing up i always ended up hearing that you know they were saying this and that behind your back which was kind of like sad because when i love i love with everything that's in me not just relationships even like friendships family like if you're in my life i want you to know that i've got you you know so i kind of like expect the same from everyone else but that expectation is what made me get disappointed many many times however i ended up finding the best set of friends when i was 15 and those are my they're still my friends now and yeah i've met a lot of like cool people in uni and they have really been green flags but like you know as a person who has had bad luck with friendships and just finding out that people secretly wish upon your downfall people make things up about you and i really don't like to see you win like whenever you start to make moves they are not happy it's kind of like damn i was really out here thinking we were family you know but i learned it the hard way that intentions that you have for people are not the intentions that people have for you so it's important to know the difference between people who actually like you people who are actually your friends 
and then people that are just staying around you to know you and then use it against you i could safely say that my friends now are the best people that i've ever met in my life girl i've been shown some real love they're like low maintenance friendships i feel like friendships shouldn't be chores even relationships like it should be your your resting place don't be around people that drain your energy or people that make you feel exhausted because life is exhausting as is so why must i hang around people who make it worse you know be like conscious about who you let into your life because again keeping around bad energy can stop you from reaching certain um places that you were supposed to reach people are different but y'all can make it work i might have put myself in situations where i ended up being with people that didn't want the best for me because i was blindsided and i shouldn't expect everyone to behave the way that i behave or have the same values that i have because obviously we were brought up different so even understanding those differences that no like these people are not me so have your own back don't ask for people to have your back if they want to they will it's standard human procedure to want to protect things that you care about you can really tell from the beginning who's for you and who's not sometimes we like the idea of a person and then you actually ignore it when they show you the real them from the moment that you meet someone you will see that the energy is right or the energy is wrong there's always that like passive aggressiveness that we choose to ignore no that's them for real and it's kind of wild to me because when people show you their true colors take off them rose tinted glasses most of the times people show us who they are but we choose to ignore it because we like the idea of a person we like what they could be but they're not open your eyes and see the people that you're spending your time with do they want to see you win do they genuinely get happy when you win do they support you so at the end of the day like if i started talking about my friendships that i've had like since primary school type shit y'all would be bamboozled you know when you give someone benefit of the doubt and then benefit of the benefit of the doubt you're like nah, maybe i'm just tripping you're not tripping people will show you how they feel about you actually let me not talk about this because i've healed i'll just look like a sour bitch <laughs> i've learned to just let people be that's who you are and that's okay we can all exist i can't let that bother me the fact that i can't control people and that we were brought up different i can't control how people behave but I can't control who's around me, who's in my circle. This is my life and I'm the main character in my life. So if it's my life, I get to choose and remove my cast accordingly. If people do not serve you, they really do not need to be taking up your energy. If people do not have good intentions for you, why are you keeping them around? I learned this the hard way. Friendship isn't supposed to be about competition. You're competing with your friends. You're just a sour bitch and you need some help. You can all shine. Only like, oh, I'm better than you. Girl, we're all good. Like, there's no need to be trying to be like, who's better than who? We can all shine. There's enough light for all of us to shine. And I need a lot of girls to know that. Competing, competing, what are you competing for? And I feel like this talk is very mumble jumble. This is something that's literally always over my head. Whenever I meet new people and decide instantly if i'm going to keep you in my life or not i could always pick it up and see if this person is going to be a problem in the future or not like, i will always always be that nice girl who talks to everyone but i'm definitely not friends with everyone i am that person who you can put me anywhere and i will fit in like i know how to deal with people friends i'm very careful after like all that i've been through friends wise i literally was i'm a friendly person but i'm not your friend <gasps> i said like um i'd be i'd be searching for friends and stuff and i just end up like ending up with the same kind of people and when i finally found that friend group in when i was 15 i never let them go and yes i've made some friends also that are not from the high school that i went to um, the high school that I went to, Form 1 to Form 4, I changed high schools in A-level. 
and I made some friends there. But what I'm saying is, I'm not very careful. There's people that are just waiting for the perfect opportunity to betray you. I don't like people who bond over, over not liking other people. Girl, your friends shape you. Say what you want, but your friends really shape you. I need friends that are kind of like on the same wave as you. Another thing that annoys me is people that assume. Like, don't assume, girl. Don't assume. Don't come at me with that. Oh, I thought you were mean. Did you talk to me? But like, can you talk to me first and find out for yourself? Oh, I heard you were mean. Those are like some bitter bitches that have nothing to do creating colonies of people that won't be liking me. I am literally the nicest person on this earth. Like, I don't believe rumors. Go talk to the person and find out for yourself if they're a bitch. You know, let's start this business of of believing everything we hear, shall we? Shout out to my friends who watch my endless reels. I will send you millions of reels. I'm always open to making new friends. But like I said, I'm just really cautious of who I let into my life because, you know, PTSD. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair and I don't know what I'm wearing. Um, what time is it? 8.32. Okay, my mom's coming at 9. So I have time to quickly do my hair and then pick an outfit. But yeah, let me do that. I think I'm going to carry this back today. I got it in Kenya, I don't know if you guys remember, and I've only used it like once since I've been back. So I think I'm using this back today. This is the outfit of the day. I'm just wearing OOTD. I'm just wearing these jeans. And so I'm about to head out now. So I don't know what I did to my anklet. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. Oh yeah, and I'm just wearing Crocs. I'm literally not at home the whole day so i honestly want an outfit that's like comfortable so i'm just waiting for my mom to arrive then we can head out Guys, I'm late for my nail appointment, so I literally had to get my food to go because I couldn't finish in time. So I'm now heading to my appointment.